everyone this is our dragon fruit we can't wait for it to be ripe so we can finally eat after waiting for a few months welcome back to our channel it's been a while since I have updated or uploaded videos and I'm sorry for my voice I've I have cough and I had fever for a short time but my cough is still the problem it's been days already so so today we are going to give you update on our dragon fruit farm this year is very nice because there are a lot of posts with lots of fruits compared to last year because last year we only had few posts with fruits this time there's a lot thank god for that this is the one that bloomed last night i think there were a lot of blooms that we were not able to see because of the weather even today it's very gloomy for the whole day the sun only appeared for a few hours and then it's cloudy again because of the storm this one still very very why it won't focus there you go it's nice and I'm gonna show you one that is almost ripe but it was infested with ants for the past days so that's why there are black spots there but so far it's good there this one is quite big and this one finished blooming a few days ago maybe here big already and as you can see we still have posts that are unfortunately they're not up yet there uh, most cases we cut them because of ants like this one we always cut the tip so like this one this is infected with ants the tip of them are rotten so we cut them off and then it it has to regrow again to new stem so that's why this one too not gone up yet and i think there are only four or five more from that area there because it's shaded by the banana trees and also lots of water in that area and you know dragon fruit they don't like wet areas and they like sunny days all the time so we had a lot of flowers for the past weeks because it was very sunny here until this month came and then it is raining almost every day again so there were lots of flowers that were aborted like probably 10 the last time I counted but I don't know if it's still 10 see there are lots of ants there Oh, they're black ants actually. And this one. So, for the ants, we spray naturally a mixture of dishwashing soap and sh uh, what's that? Vinegar and water. But if there are really too many we tried the uh, chemically based pesticide but it only happens like few times because I don't like to use them either 
this one has lots of ant bites too and this one too oh this doesn't look so good I think this is the first one that got a lot of ants in it and then we sprayed naturally and then we sprayed again one more with um, a kind of pesticide for ants so it was okay here are a few more flowers moving too much I can't focus it and then the part where we have lots of flowers really and fruits are in the front there's one there too and one more there On this side not much yet only developing developing flowers I don't know what's wrong with my phone. I can't seem to focus anything. See? Oh, that one did. That one did a good job. I don't know why the others won't. Maybe there's something wrong with my settings. Okay, we're near the house. And by the way, this is my personal project putting on the stones the second time around but the others are not yet done there's still so many the first year we had help the boys from Busai helped me put the stones but this year it's only me so I only finished a few posts for the stones just to keep the soil from running down just like this one the roots are so exposed so i'm gonna put it back and then add the stones again so this one is one post with lots and lots of that one we have this one and we still have developing flowers too over there there and then we have here hopefully yeah it's not focusing and then this one too and then this post too is really really fruitful there's two and there's two and this one bloomed last night and this post is only one and this is the this is how it looks like if a flower has fallen I hope I can focus it there oh my god so they have flowers already but it got aborted because of heavy rains so hopefully this one That too will continue. And that's it. We're in the house already. This one, this one. I'm gonna show you another update when most of them are ripe. Sometimes we don't need to cut the thing off, this one. But some farmers said that it's really okay to cut cut them off especially if it's rainy season because they're just gonna gather bacteria or some sort of uh, not good for the fruit so if they don't fall off we just cut them manually like that one
Okay. That's it for updates. Thank you so much for watching. See you on the next one.